Do you know carbon-based chips? Carbon-based semiconductors are developed on the basis of carbon-based nanomaterials, such as graphene, carbon nanotubes, carbon nanofibers, and nanocarbon spheres. At present, most semiconductor companies use silicon-based chips. However, as the chip size continues to shrink, especially when the chip manufacturing process level approaches 2 nanometers, silicon-based chips are approaching the physical limit due to the limitations of materials, devices and quantum physics. Therefore, more and more semiconductor companies are now developing carbon-based chips, because the processing speed of carbon-based chips can reach 1,000 times that of silicon-based chips. And China has made remarkable achievements in the research and development of carbon-based chips. What are the advantages of carbon-based chips? How advanced is China's carbon-based chips? Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's continue the topic we are talking about. Carbon-based chips are considered to be the new dawn of the post more era. Let's take a look at the advantages of them. In terms of the performance, carbon base has better performance and lower power consumption than silicon base. Carbon-based chips are a simpler process that requires no photolithography, which is a different track altogether. Moreover, carbon-based chips have ultra-thin conductive channels, high stability and high carrier mobility, which greatly reduces chip power consumption. In terms of the limit, the limit of silicon-based chips is around 1 nanometer, and TSMC is now conquering the 2 nanometers process. This is close to the limit, but carbon-based chips are different. Carbon-based chips have lower limits than silicon-based chips. Silicon transistors will lose stability below 10 nanometers. Compared with silicon transistors, graphene and other carbon transistors have the advantage that their transistor lattices are highly stable and can work stably even at a thickness of a single carbon atom. In terms of graphene, the thickness of graphene is only 0.335 nanometers, which is equivalent to 1 200 of a hair, but it is 200 times harder than steel. Carbon-based chips made of graphene will have 10 times the performance of silicon-based chips, but the power consumption can be reduced by a quarter. For example, a carbon-based chip using the 90 nanometers process is expected to produce a silicon-based chip with performance and integration equivalent to the 28 nanometers technology node. That is to say, as long as we use a 28 nanometers lithography machine, we can obtain the effect of the world's most advanced EUV lithography machine. Carbon-based chips are so important, so the US is naturally very concerned. How is the development of carbon-based chips in the US and other countries? The US began to explore graphene electronic technology earlier. The National Science Foundation of the U.S. has established many basic research projects on carbon-based electronics, covering all areas of research and application of carbon-based electronics. The U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency invested up to $1.5 billion in the Electronic Revival Initiative, launched in 2018, hoping to explore future integration from three aspects, system architecture, circuit design, and underlying devices circuit technology. As the birthplace of graphene, Europe attaches great importance to the strategic layout in graphene applications. As early as January 2013, the European Commission planned to list the graphene flagship program as one of the first future emerging technology flagship programs. The Japanese government also attaches great importance to the development of carbon-based electronic technology, encourages academia and business people to engage in related research work, and vigorously promotes the commercial application of carbon-based electronic technology. In addition, Japan's Hitachi, Sony, Toshiba and other companies have also invested a lot of resources to promote the research and application of graphene. Carbon-based chips have so many advantages, and many countries and regions have already carried out R&D of carbon-based chips, so what about carbon-based chips in China? Researchers from Peking University in China have been studying carbon-based chips since 2007. 
In January 2017, the research group of Zhang Jiong and Peng Lian Mao of Peking University successfully prepared a 5 nanometers gate carbon nanotube CMOS device and developed a new method of purification and self assembled monolayer tubes. It is also the first time that China has mastered the world's most advanced transistor technology. It broke through the development bottleneck of carbon tube electronics, and for the first time showed the performance advantages of carbon tube devices and integrated circuits compared with traditional technologies. China produced undoped carbon tube CMOS transistors for the first time, with excellent performance and far ahead the traditional silicon devices. It has laid the foundation for the practical application of carbon-based integrated circuits. It is the fundamental technology for making 5 nanometers carbon-based chips. Its process technology can be mass-produced and is world-leading. In May 2021, the Peking University team once again achieved a breakthrough in carbon-based chips and found a new process to achieve neat arrangement of high-purity carbon nanotubes. Now China's 8-inch graphene wafer has been unveiled, overcoming the graphene purification problem that has discouraged countless American companies. The success of the 8-inch graphene single wafer shows that the huge changes in chips in the future are getting closer and closer. If China's carbon-based chips can be the first to be commercialized, it will bring disruptive innovations to the entire chip industry in the future, whether it is production technology, production equipment, or production materials, it will be reshuffled. According to relevant news, this kind of graphene single wafer is currently in small-scale mass production, and China's layout of graphene carbon-based chips has begun, which will lay a good foundation for China's future chip manufacturing. China is fully supporting the development of carbon-based semiconductors. In 2021, the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology focused on major key technological breakthroughs and innovative application needs, further strengthen industrial policy guidance, incorporate carbon-based materials into the 14th five-year plan. It aimed to comprehensively break through key core technologies, improve the quality of carbon-based new materials and other products, and promote the advanced industrial foundation and industrial chain modernization. Peng Lianmao, an academician of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, said, We have been on the road of carbon-based integrated circuits for 20 years, and we haven't seen any obstacles that make us feel that we can't go on. These words inevitably ignited the hope for Chinese semiconductor field. Peng Lianmao said proudly, our carbon-based semiconductor research represents the world's leading level. China's advanced research results will eventually be applied, and carbon-based technology can be applied to national defense technology, satellite navigation, weather monitoring, artificial intelligence, medical devices, and other fields in the near future. The breakthrough of carbon-based chip technology will bring new hope for the development of the chip field in China, open up a new path for Chinese chips to break through the Western blockade, open an era of independent innovation, and solve the development problems of China's semiconductor industry. Under the threat of the U.S. trade war, carbon-based chips have provided a track for Chinese chips to overtake in corners. The successful development of carbon nanotransistor materials, the core components of carbon-based chips, has provided China with a much-needed supercar. If one day the size of silicon transistors can no longer be shrunk, chip performance improvements will also be close to physical limits. Then carbon tubes will become a turning point in the global chip industry. Perhaps when carbon tubes start mass production, it will be the day when Chinese chips come out. Now it seems that China has achieved a leading position in the field of carbon-based chips the debut of 8-inch graphene wafers represent the domestic chip may be able to achieve overtaking. But this is not enough to succeed in the rise of domestic chips must continue to move forward carbon-based chips and silicon-based chips are to seize. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.